What's going on YouTube? It's Adam from Beyond the Grid. Welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. In this one, we're going to be going over Luminar 4's newest feature, Portrait Enhancement. But if you close your eyes... So portrait enhancement is actually gonna be broken down into two different categories. The first one is gonna be skin enhancement, which is gonna work on the overall skin features like removing blemishes and imperfections while keeping small details like eyelashes. The second part is gonna be portrait enhancer, which is gonna give you a bunch of different tools that are actually gonna work on features of your face like eyebrows, eyes, lips, etc. So let's jump into Luminar 4 and let's show you some of these features and let's show you why I'm excited about the release of this program. So when you first get into Luminar, the main things you're gonna be looking for for the portrait stuff is gonna be over here in the smiley face. So let's go ahead and click on that. Let's start with the skin enhancers. So what this one, like I said, is gonna do is it's gonna work on the overall face, removing some of the imperfections. The one thing it also does is it removes freckles. So let's go ahead and let's start moving that guy. So as you can see, it really softens out her face and it really starts to get rid of about those freckles, but it doesn't overly soften it. So let's leave that right about here, let's say 55. So I'll show you a quick before and a quick after. You can notice that a lot of the freckles actually are gone. So now let's go over to the portrait enhancer. So this is where you're gonna find things like face lightening, red eye removal, eye whitening, eye enhancer, dark circle remover, slim face, eye enlarge, eyebrow improvement, lip saturation, lip redness, lip darkening, and teeth whitening. So let's start with face lightening. So this one here is actually gonna brighten up her face quite a bit. So let's go ahead and leave that up a little bit. She doesn't really have red eyes, so we're not really gonna play with that one too much. Eye whitening, we can actually boost how much her eyes are white and boost the whitening right in here. Then let's go over to eye enhancer. That one's actually gonna work on her actual eyes. So you can actually see it adjusting right there. So let's go ahead and show you guys that a little more. So let's leave that right about there. Dark circle removal, well, I mean, she doesn't really have too much dark circle, but there's a little bit in the corners as you can see. So let's go ahead and leave that up. Slim facing is gonna work on the overall face and actually change the face and make it slimmer. So let's leave that one for right now. Eye enlarger is actually gonna make her eyeballs bigger. So let's leave that one for now. Eyebrow improvement is actually gonna work on the shape a little bit and it's gonna darken them up. So let's leave that one, uh, let's go with about 14. Lip saturation is gonna work on the natural color already and saturating it up a little bit. Lip redness, of course, is gonna work on the redness. So let's leave that one up a little bit. Let's move up to the darkening a little bit. And I mean, you can't really see her teeth, so it's not really gonna to affect too much there. So let's show you guys a quick before and after. So honestly, that that's gonna save you a ton of time. Usually what I do is I bring a photo like this into Photoshop, start removing the imperfections, brighten up some things, then bring it over into, into Lightroom, and then start doing an overall edit on the coloring. Well, that's gonna save me a lot of time because it's already done for me. So let's look at another one really quickly. Let's look at this guy right here. So let's start with your skin enhancer. So let's bring this guy up. And as you can see, it's actually getting rid of all of our freckles. We can actually turn on the AI skin defect removal, which is gonna actually adjust little things. So let's turn on your portrait. Let's bring up our face lightening a little bit. She's got a little tiny bit of red eye in there. Eye whitening, eye enhancer. Let's bring that guy right up. Dark circle remover, let's bring that up a little bit. Slim face just a little tiny bit. Eye enlargen, let's bring that up just a little tiny bit. Eyebrow improvement, just a little bit. Lip saturation, I mean, she's already got really red lips, so actually let's leave that down a little bit. Lip redness, let's leave that down. Let's bring a little bit of darkness. I don't know how much we can go. Now that looks kind of weird. And teeth whitening, I mean, again, she doesn't really, she's not really showing her teeth, so let's look at it before and an after. As you can see, it adds quite a bit. There's a little bit of detail that we're gonna actually have to go over. So let's go back over here real quick. Let's turn off this guy, because as you can see, I tried to remove that freckle there. And it leaves a weird sort of dot there. So let's leave that off. And as you guys can see with it before, and an after. It does quite a bit to the face. So let's take a look at this guy over here. So let's start off with this guy. Let's move over your AI skin enhancement. So again, we're gonna get a little bit of a lot of our freckles. Let's go over to your portrait. Let's bring up her face lightening a little bit. 
as you guys can see, it actually bounces the face light because the face is actually hit. Uh, sorry, the light is actually hitting her face and rebounding onto her hat. And without me adjusting it, you can already see it's already lit in here a little bit with the color of her face. But as I lighten this up, it's gonna actually lighten up that hat as well. So let's bring that up a little bit. Bring up the red eye a little bit. Eye whitening. Let's bring that up. Eye enhancer. Let's bring that guy up. Let's say right about there. Dark circle removal just a little bit. Um, don't really need too much face slimming. She already got it a little quite a bit. Eye enlargement. Let's bring that up just a tiny bit. Eyebrow improvement just a little bit. Lip saturation. Lip redness. We'll leave darkening down. And again, she doesn't really show her teeth, so you're not really gonna be able to see that there. So let's look at it before and then after. So like I said, I'm super excited about this program. It's a game changer. It's gonna save me a ton of time editing photos exactly like these, because before you'd have to bring them into Photoshop, edit out a lot of the blemishes, bring it back into Lightroom, and then color grade the entire photo. So if you guys wanna check out Luminar 4 and you guys wanna check out some of the other features it's gonna have, I'm gonna leave a link down below. If you guys wanna see some more videos about Luminar 4, I'm gonna leave a link right here to one of my other videos. So if you guys enjoy this video, make sure you guys are hitting that like button. If you guys are not a subscriber, I mean, why aren't you? Hit that subscribe button and until next time, take care everybody.